what do you expect to see that's new? Like, what could you say? Is it like a new particle? Are they new? Other than the the answers to this the CP stuff, are there yeah. any like new particles that you think will fill in? Like, remember, I think last time we talked about like supersymmetry and stuff like that, and there was a lot of unknowns about that kind of thing. Are there any new theories that you're testing at the moment to see if they? So we we we're, we're testing. We're testing, we're still testing things like supersymmetry and we're still testing a lot of our exotic dark matter models. Like, you know, one of the things that the super, that supersymmetric super theories predict is that the a supersymmetric particle like the LSP, the light of supersymmetric particle, could be a dark matter candidate. Okay, so That's, I don't know what an LSP is. Yeah, so it's, it's basically... Um, if you have some, it's, it's basically a particle that's in supersymmetric models, which is um, a stable particle, so it doesn't decay. It's quite heavy, and um, it doesn't really interact um, with with um, m matter like we know now. And so, if it exists, it could be what dark matter is made out of. Oh, wow, okay. Um, it could be made out of these LSPs. That could be the particle that is dark matter. And so we're trying to perform, you know, we're trying to use these models to search for it at the LHC. And at High Lumi LHC, we'll have a lot more data. So we'll be able to search for it even more. So that's just one example. There are other examples of supersymmetric models or dark matter models that predict other, other things, but that's one of them. Wow. Okay. So yeah, you know, that's something maybe to 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 look at maybe in more detail. Yeah, definitely. Do yeah. you know yeah. kind of like the size and stuff that you expect it to be, and is it kind of no? Like... I mean, we we know that some some like mass ranges of some specific models we've already ruled out because otherwise mm -hmm. we would have seen it already. Okay. Cool. So we're kind of getting closer and closer in you know looking at what's what kind of space is left for it to be in um but you know i think i don't know exactly but i think you, we could find this out quite easily it's probably you know that one tv something like that maybe maybe that ballpark or something i think is reasonable yeah or something like that so we should um yeah we can look that up though what the current measurements are yeah yeah wow man <laughs> that's pretty cool because yeah because yeah. most of the time i've been talking to um, I guess everybody else, they were always talking about, they were always talking from the point of what we already know. Yeah. Um, and then it's always like hindsight, right? So, you, so you're always like, oh yeah, and then we found this um, and then that, that means that this was confirmed or whatever. Whereas with you, it's kind of like you're doing all of the looking. Um, yeah. And then, and then obviously once you found it then something out of many things will be confirmed as the right one so it's yeah like that's the yeah exactly you're kind of like on the ground like <laughs> right at the forefront yeah. of like um and don lincoln was like don and um and david kaplan they were both kind of like yeah we you know scientists we're just we just sometimes you just stum stumble into these <laughs> these discoveries yeah. it's not like yeah. yeah every single time yeah, you just go and find this thing and then it's perfect. It's kind of like something exactly. you discovered by a mistake. Some things you're looking for something and then something else happens. So it's yeah, quite, exactly. yes, I've forgotten, um, I've forgotten how that kind of, that process is from, from the experimental point of view. Cause yeah, it's quite, you know, like, that's research. Though. You, you go down a lot of roads, um, you know, looking for stuff that might not, might, that might not, uh, well, you might think it's not helping you, but it is yeah. helping you. But it is helping you because you're you're ruling things out. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So, with that in mind, what has been ruled out? Um, is anything substantial that has been kind of ruled out, or is it kind of you rule it out, but you never kind of completely close the door? Yeah, I think you know. Well, people people think that supersymmetry should be starting to get ruled out. I've seen some people say that because they say that we should have already seen something. 
But supersymmetry has got lots of different models. And so obviously we don't, we haven't ruled them all out. There's still a lot of searching left to do, but we're still looking at other, other types of dark matter models that exist that aren't kind of based on supersymmetry. So we kind of trying to cover all bases, to be honest. What, what other ones are there? Um, there's something called a Higgs portal, dark matter which okay, I can't I'm really explain. <laughs> I can't really explain because I don't know it well enough, to be honest. But I can, I can look it up. And, but I know that is something that's getting quite a lot of... Um, that, you know, basically, okay, let's see, what does it say? Uh, yeah, so what they're... Basically, what that is, it's basically saying that because Higgs brings... The Higgs brings mass to everything. So maybe the Higgs is also responsible for the mass that's in dark matter. So maybe the Higgs is decaying directly to dark matter particles. Okay. And we need to try and find those particles that it's decaying to. And those models are called Higgs portal dark matter because it's the Higgs that's decaying directly to the dark matter particles. Um, so that's something that's been... Um, looked at uh, atlas and cms um and you know so that's one model of but there's but there are loads there are a lot more than that you know there's loads that i don't know all them all of them but there's lots that we're looking at but you know we are trying to look at which you know when theorists propose ideas we try yeah. and look we you know we you know we try and we try and look for these models as long as yeah. they've got sufficient theoretical motivation yeah 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 um I remember asking Don Lincoln about something to do with like string theory. Is that still a thing? And he said that, I think he said, it's just some, some things are just not able to be tested for. So um, I'm, I'm putting the same question to you. Is string theory, <laughs> is that still a thing? Uh, if, if, is it that you guys can't test for it at the moment or is it kind of just like... The string not, theory? Yeah. I think it's very difficult to test for string models at the LHC. Again, I don't know much about this. I would have to look it up. I think there are some models that should have some manifestation, but I, don't, I wouldn't characterize it as a kind of primary kind of research goal at the LHC. Yeah. I think it's not quite, you know, it's not, I think the models aren't quite... Um, I don't think they kind of predict things that we can observe at something like the LHC. Um, I so I think, yeah, I don't really, I can also look into that, um, but I don't think it's something, you know, that is given um, the kind of prominence at the LHC because I think it's probably a more, it's probably, you know, something that needs to be looked at elsewhere. Yeah. Um, rather than at the LHC. Um, I think 